y'all what's up my name is Avery and today I'm going to be talking about all of the books that I read in March. So in total I read 14 books in the month of March and three or four of them were physical books so I'm completing my goal of reading more physical books instead of uh, listening to audiobooks. <laughs> but I'm gonna get started because there are a lot of books I have to talk about today. <laughs> We're going from my least favorite to my favorite at dead last we have Alien Fae Mate by Misty Kane and Milana Jax. This is on Audible Escape. I believe I listened to it coming home for spring break. This is an alien romance that's it's very 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 short. It's maybe like a couple of hours, two hours audiobook. This romance is between a woman and an alien man and she's like a scientist and aliens have like started to try to live on earth now and she basically helps this alien with some sciencey stuff and he's like the prince of the aliens. She's been trying to get his attention for years but he's not like thinking of her in that way or showing interest in that way so she decides to like dye her hair constantly, stuff her bra constantly, just change her body to make him like her in some way which really irked me really irked me that's all that i remember about it is that she just kept constantly changing herself and it really got on my nerves and uh her thinking that oh i have to change myself for this guy to like me it wasn't even addressed in the book how that's not how relationships work um, or how a healthy relationship works at all one star do not enjoy this book do not recommend it next are two books from the mc sinners series by bella jewel these are both on audible escape if you want to listen to it first book is hell's nights basically a romance between the uh long distant daughter of a president of a motorcycle club and his right hand man they start a relationship i gave this one two stars there's a big tr trigger warning for rape like five minutes into this audiobook and it's very jarring because she talked about sexual assault so openly and it like she didn't really have any PTSD from it even though she talked about how it affected her so much. Like this author was telling us about what she experienced instead of like showing it it through the characters if that makes sense and there is a lot of talk about drugs in this book so if those things trigger you i do not recommend reading this book it would definitely was not my favorite i'm mainly reading these books to try to get to another series by bella jewel that i heard is way better but the other series is a spin-off series it's the one i'm currently reading uh so i just want to get this series out of the way so i can understand what's going on in the spin-off books the next one in the series is heaven sinners basically it's about the president of another biker club motorcycle club and his relationship with his deceased wife's sister yeah it wasn't my favorite to read about gave this one 2.5 out of 5 stars i did enjoy it a little bit more than the first one just the characters kept yelling at each other all the time and their communication skills were horrible and they just kept fighting and fighting and fighting and fighting and i could not stand it next we have the forbidden by jody ellen malpass um i can't really give you a summary on this book all you need to know is that this is a relationship between annie and jack and they meet at a bar one night but something is brought to fruition and their relationship is forbidden and there's a forbidden aspect to it and i can't tell you about it because the forbidden aspect is supposed to be really shocking but just know that the reason why i did not enjoy this book had a really hard time even picking it up at times was because it's about something that i don't like reading about at all i don't like reading about this subject or this thing that happens in romance sometimes that was this whole book uh and i just the characters were really annoying to me really annoying to me so i ended up giving this one a two out of five stars next we have two books from the pucked series by helena hunting the puck series are books that are dealing with relationships where the guy is on a hockey team pucked under which is number 4.5 this whole series is on audible escape so that's how i listen to them as i listen to them through audible escape now i listen to these at the beginning of the month so uh i don't really remember all that much about them this one i did give three stars it was not my favorite this one is a continuation continuation to our characters from the third book. It wasn't my favorite in the series, but I did enjoy it nonetheless. And then book number five, Pucked Off, is my favorite in the series. Okay, so this one is about a hockey player named Lance Romero and his relationship with a physical therapist named Poppy. 
and it is so stinking cute. Poppy and Lance used to know each other back when they were kids and Lance was actually her first kiss but Lance has blocked everything out of his childhood out of his brain because he was abused as a kid so he does not remember Poppy at all and they kind of meet because he needs to go see a physical therapist and he goes and sees Poppy by coincidence and they kind of start up a relationship and it's so cute it's so cute i love them a lot my favorite couple from the entire tire tire series i feel like this book you can read on on its own it doesn't really connect with the other books like the other ones do uh so if you want to read this book you can probably do it by itself next we have tweet cute by emma lord this is our lovely ladies live show pick for the pick of february but our live show wasn't until March <laughs> so I finished it in March um this is a young adult romance book between uh Jack and Pepper well Pepper is the daughter to um, the owner of a big food company industry and then Jack is the son to a local deli owner in New York City they're in school together they're in the same class their restaurants that they own end up getting in a twitter battle online with each other and they don't know that the other one is running the twitter account so it was really cute i really enjoyed this if you want to know my in-depth thoughts and ashley and jen's in-depth thoughts the live show for this is linked down below next we have a middle grade we have the english roses a perfect pair by madonna this is a chapter book actually and it's kind of like a spin-off chapter book series from the children's book the english roses it's my favorite children's book as a kid i loved it, it deals with girls and friendship and how you shouldn't judge someone based on their looks and how everyone is different and I loved this book a lot as a kid. Madonna came out with chapter books about them, about the characters, and this one is about Nicole. She loves science and all of her friends aren't really into it as much as she is. Coming up is the Valentine's Dance and on the same day as the Valentine's Dance is the Science Fair and so Nicole is really excited for this Science Fair and then everyone else in her friend group is really obsessed with the dance and really excited for the dance and wanting dates and everything. Nicole ends up becoming lab partners with kind of like the class clown it's their like friendship and everything and i love this thought this was so cute i really recommend this chapter book series it's really cute um i have to get other ones because uh this is the only one i've read out of the chapter book series so i gave this one four out of five stars okay before i get into my five star books i have to pick from my shout out mug so each video i try to shout out a booktuber i have every single person i am subscribed to in this mug so let's see who today is going to be today is going to be oh it's salise from the book armada i love salise salise is a big fantasy booktuber and she reads I believe primarily fantasy books and so I get my fantasy recommendations from her. I love hearing her opinions on fantasies and when I feel like I need to get into a fantasy I can definitely go check out her videos for recommendations. So if you are into fantasy books I highly 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 recommend Celise. Uh, she kind of reminds me of like Reagan from Peru's Project and like how she's constantly recommending great fantasy books. I believe Celise is also like that. So if you like fantasy, please go check out Celise. Okay, so the first five star book that I have is the first book in the Lux series, Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. The reason I gave this five stars is just because it was so trashy and amazing and I loved it. It's not similar to, to Twilight, it gives me Twilight vibes, but instead of vampires, it's with aliens. It's about a main character named Katie who moves in next door to two aliens and one of them happens to be really really stinking hot it's her kind of figuring out that they're aliens and that she might have a crush on an alien even though it's a hate to love relationship between her and damon so if you like twilight i really recommend this uh the audiobooks i believe are on audible escape i then continued with the series onyx listen to onyx which is the next book in the series, which I didn't love as much. This one was way more problematic for me, in my opinion. Just a lot of stuff happened that I didn't feel like was needed, and there was like a love triangle aspect, and love triangles are not my thing at all. So I ended up giving this one a 3.5 out of 5 stars, just because a lot of the stuff that happened in this book didn't need to happen in this book. <laughs> and just like the one character who got introduced in this book just wasn't needed at all. I really want to read the next books though to see how Katie and Damon's relationship 
uh, develops because um, I'm really interested in that and a giant twist happened at the end of this book so I'm excited to continue and read about that twist. <laughs> Next five star book that I have is The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. I had to read this for a multicultural literature class. Uh, we got to pick a multicultural young adult book. I picked The Poet X. Um, I've been hearing great things about it and the audiobook was only three hours long and it was a great audiobook because Elizabeth Acevedo narrates it herself and it was so stinking good. I have a lot of tabbies in here for poems I liked because this book is told in verse and it's kind of just like this the whole way through and um it was a very interesting format to read in. I really enjoyed it. This book is about our main character named Ziomara. Her parents I believe are from the Dominican Republic and they are very 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 devout Catholics. This book is basically about Ziomara questioning her faith and she's 15 I believe at the time and she's questioning like boys and how she should feel about boys and how she should feel about school and her faith and her family and she's doing this all through writing poetry. If you like slam poetry this one is the book for you. I actually later today have to write a uh, paper about this book um so i'm excited to do that soon this book just left me with so many emotions i cried it's so good and i understand now why everyone loves this book and raves about it and all of the words that it has is totally well deserved that i'm definitely going to read more of elizabeth acevedo's books the next five star read for me is a notorious vow by joanna shoop I've talked about this book a couple times on my channel. This is a historical romance that takes place in America, but our female character, um, Christina, is actually from England. Uh, she travels to England with her parents in search of a husband because her parents are in major, major, major debt back in England. They really wanna marry her off, try to marry her off to this dude who's like three times her age and it's horrible and they're basically not in finding a husband for Christina's happiness. They're in it to get the money. When she is in America, she's staring at her aunt's estate and right next to her aunt's estate is this beautiful garden that is um, a part of this other estate. And uh, she has a really hard time in crowds and talking to people. She has social anxiety. She never says that she does, but it's inferred. So when she's feeling anxious or overwhelmed, she loves to go and walk in these gardens and basically helps take her mind off of things. Little does she know that those gardens are part of Oliver's estate and Oliver is deaf and Oliver is basically like, um, what are you doing on my grounds? Like, this is my garden. What are you doing here? And they kind of strike up a friendship, even though Oliver does not want a friendship. He, he doesn't want to be associated with anyone at all because he's been hurt so many times in the past. I'm judged so many times in the past because he's deaf um so he doesn't want to have friends he doesn't want to have a relationship at all so he likes to keep to himself in his workshop in his house since christina's parents are trying to marry her off to this old bat of a man oliver and christina come to a marriage of convenience and you figure out how they get to that point in the book i love this book i believe it is my new favorite historical romance book i loved it a lot i did not have to read the other books in this series the 400 series i did not have to read the rest of the books in the series to understand this book at all it's the only book that i've read from the series and i'm in love with it so if you're into historical romance books i totally recommend this one thank you so much ashley from ash heart books for recommending this book to me i loved it so much. <laughs> Next we have my only reread for the month. We have The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. If you didn't know me, Emma from Uncle Glamour, Peyton from Peyton Reads, and Lily from Lily Eleanor Reads, we are all hosting a Hunger Games read-along and in February we read the Hunger Games, but the live show wasn't until the very beginning of mid-March, so I didn't read it until then. I listened to the audiobook on a car ride with some of my friends and I love it even the bajillionth time around. I hadn't read this book since middle school, I want to say, and I'm in college now. And this book was a really big part of my reading journey growing up. Um, so I love it so much and uh, was so excited and happy to discuss it with these ladies and everyone in the comments. Um, the live show is linked down below. I actually hosted the live show. Catching Fire's live show probably already happened by this point, um, so I will link that one down below as well if you want to watch that. I love this so much, and I'm so glad that I get to reread this series with some newfound friends of mine. <laughs> and lastly, my favorite book that I read in March, Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood by Sarah J Mass. Oh my word. <laughs> if you didn't know, I have a live reaction reading vlog about this book also linked down below if you want to watch that. The beginning of it is spoiler free, so I honestly don't know if I should spoil summary because the summary kind of spoils the book. Bryce is half human, half fae, and she has to 
um, go on an investigation and investigate a murder that happens that she's connected to. And she is helped by this angel, this fallen angel named Hunt. That's all I'm gonna leave you with because the rest of the summary spoils. <laughs> if I didn't read the summary, I honestly would have been hit by this book way harder. I'm already hit hard by this book because there were so many twists and turns and plot twists and everything that like I was shocked by this book but I would even I would be even more shocked if I didn't read the summary. So um I don't think I'm gonna read it to y'all. <laughs> but then again if you want to watch my reading vlog I literally read the summary word for word for y'all if you want to know that. But this book is around 800 pages was a hunker chunker to get through. Roller coaster of emotions reading this book and you can see when you watch my reading vlog. Overall, I loved this book and I will definitely be continuing on with the series. The characters were amazing. The plot was amazing. It was, it was kind of hard for me to get through in the beginning because of all the world building and it had been a while since I read a fantasy that wasn't a solely romance based fantasy. So there was a lot of world building and characters and all that jazz. I'm a sucker for Sarah J Maas and um, this might be my new favorite book by her. So yeah anyways there you have it those are all of the books that i read in march let me know down below if you have read any of these books or if you plan to but anyways thank y'all so so much for watching i will see y'all soon in my next one bye mm -hmm.